Welcome to Super Fun Stuff. In today's video, we venture in the world of modifying minis, specifically the Red Skull Mini from Crisis Protocol. It's an all right scope of one of the greatest Marvel bad guys. Red Skull is holding the Tesseract, and as we all know, it's a glowing Infinity Stone in it. But normal miniatures don't let you make glowing parts easily. You can drill holes and use fiber optics like I do for eyes, but not for glowing cubes. We need the part to be translucent. That's why I created a replacement ham for the Crisis Protocol Mini, where you can print it in clear resin on any SLA machine. This hand is tiny, as are most parts with these Crisis Protocol Minis. This print is also hollow with thin walls, around 0.3 millimeters thick. It allows you to integrate a very small LED that sits in the Tesseract. I like using the 0402 pre-wire LEDs. So printing it out is the easy part. It takes about 40 to 50 minutes. You cure it and it's ready to go. You can add a drain plug before printing it if you want, but I just drill a small hole with my handy drill. It really doesn't matter. It does require supports, but those are easy to clean up. Now to the harder part. How are we going to route our wire through this mini? If we look at the sprue, this mini has very small pieces, and very piece part of pieces. His arms are in two sections, stopping at the elbow. His test arc hand is also separate, which makes it easier for us to replace. If we take a look at the mini, the best route would be going from the Tessarch hand down through his arm, through his body, and down his right foot. Luckily, his body is hollow, so drilling is not required. Yes. However, his arm and feet are solid. These parts are too small for the hand to drill, so instead we have to use our twist drill to make the holes. I use a 1mm drill bit, as it's about the right size for the LED wires to fit through. The forearm was straightforward. You drill straight through. The upper arm was a bit trickier, but you can drill pretty much straight through too. I had to cut a little groove at the elbow to get my drill bit in the right place. And on the other side, I had to make a slight additional angle hole to get the wire to fish through properly. It's not hard, but you have to be super precise. Like I said, the body is hollow, but you'll have to drill small holes where the arm goes in and the foot goes in. And the foot is a straight hole as well, simple enough. Now we got our parts, so let's glue the end of our LED into the hollow clear hand. I use a bit of side resin to encase the LED in the cube. Just make sure to get it in the right spot prior to curing it. Then I fish the wire ends through all the parts and glue each section together. I continually to test everything after each step just to make sure it all works. This is what the arm will look like when it's complete. Now to the body. I route the wire from the arm hole down to the leg hole. I glue the piece together and ensure that the wire isn't caught on anything inside. The foot simply slides on and glues into place. I finish up the model gluing the rest of his body parts on. For the base, I go ahead and drill the holes where the wires would come in. I also add a small pin to the other foot for stability and drill another hole in the base for that to sit in. I make sure all my holes and everything fit correctly before painting. I also go ahead and create the battery compartment underneath using magnets and the conductive tape. See my tutorial on how I create a light up space ring for more details on that. I lay down my primer on all the parts and make sure I don't get anything on the Tesseract. I then apply my base colors, mostly black and red. The base I use is skeleton bone, and I glue Red Skull on the base. I go ahead and connect the wires underneath and get it all set up. Again, I test it to make sure I did everything correct, and voila, he works perfectly. Now I go in and paint my highlights. I use a wolf gray and black mixture for the jacket with another white on top of that. For the red head, I use fire engine red and lava orange. For the rest of the details, there's a few bits of silver and white for the eyes. Super simple color scheme. For the base, I apply a strong wash and dry brush various beige shades. I paint the ring around the base red and add a little grass to make it more interesting. And that's it! Red Skull is complete with a glowing Tesseract. I think the glowing Tesseract really adds to the model and makes it pretty epic. This Red Skull Mini wasn't my favorite model, but with the glowing Tesseract, it's now up there. You can download the hollow hand from my 3D modeling store using the link below. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments. If you like this video and other things I make, please support me on Patreon. Thank you to all my patrons and supporters, and thank you for watching.